We do have something on here. We got something on here. That's what's going on. Good glorious day fishing freaks from the treehouse. Welcome back to the channel. We're getting ready to go out on our maiden voyage with the new Merc on the crispy. And uh, hopefully we're not gonna hit a stump and knock the Merc off. And to all you that tuned in to the last video, me and Craig out there on Fork, one of my most memorable days in past years, just because of the story behind it and everything, it was awesome, it was awesome. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it, especially if you've been around the channel a long time and you missed it, you guys are really gonna enjoy that. So go back, watch that last video. And that's the last fishing trip that is gonna be in the Silver Bullet. This boat is officially retired from this channel. I was gonna take it out today. I was like, man, I wanna go fish this other crappie lake, you know, and I, I wanted to take the boat out and everything. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna end on the most glorious note imaginable out of this boat right here. Just end it on a good note, and maybe one of y'all will get this boat, and then just the good vibes keep rolling. You know what I'm saying? So when I get back from my northern trip, there's gonna be a new vessel, y'all. So exciting stuff happening right now. Until then, we got the crispy, and we're gonna go out, and we're gonna try to do a little uh, catfishing today. Um, I haven't done that in a while. Maybe just try to, you know, mess around. I really just want to break in the motor. So I've got some of my jugs. I got a couple of poles. I want to get this thing rigged out with some rod holders too. I have some order. They're coming in, you know, sling that anchor out there and just let it sit. It is important to gingerly break in your new motor before you give it a good rip. So let's get it gassed up. Let's get it broken in. Fishing with Feller right there. Fishing with Feller, baby. He's out here. He's got he's got his Merc on there. We got our new Merc, Hearn. Let me just start it up one more time for you guys. There we go. Shee oh yeah, there she goes. There she goes. So I've got a four blade prop on here. It's the uh, it's the Spitfire prop. It's meant for the 25 and 30 horse four stroke. It's supposed to be really good. We're gonna see though. I got a speed app on my phone. We're gonna see how fast this thing actually goes. Right off the bat, I'm just gonna tell y'all some things I like about this motor. Just putting it in gear for the first time. My old motor, I had to manually switch uh, the gear and then the throttle was separate. So you had your forward reverse, your neutral. It was easy, but this is a little bit more efficient. So the gear switch and everything, the throttle is all right here and the stop button. So you just press that and the motor turns off, which I didn't have on the other one. It makes it really nice. Let me show y'all how I got this finally rigged up. So we got the gas tank over here, six gallon. I no longer have a gas tank over here. So I'm probably gonna end up putting a, another battery right there to run the trolling motor separate. And then I may hook up a graph and everything on the, the main battery. Let's get it in gear, get it up on pad. Smooth black butter. I'm gonna put the old jacket on today because never run this motor. Hoping it's not gonna fly off. Let's give it a rip. so far is it likes to run just trimmed all the way down and I adjusted the pin where the motor sits to the lowest setting 
when I first took off, it was kind of doing that dolphin thing. So I hope I didn't mount the motor up too high. It definitely doesn't look like I did, but yeah, she's running fine. Look at them go. They going. Very tempting, but I got some break in. I still got to do. I've never even fished over here, to be honest with you. I'm just on like a dead part of the lake. It's calm. I think the white bass just followed me around. They, had, they uh, I put out like a sonar, and they just, they come up to it. I, I don't know. They want to get in my fridge. They want to get in my cooler. It's a good thing. Shoo, got some bait. Fishing Freaks, we got three jugs set right now. I figured I would do that while I'm running around breaking in the motor. And I'm just over the hour mark now, so I can rip it if I want to, but I see it looks like we have a jug that has gone down already. I think this is mine. I put my jugs out in like 20, 30 feet of water. I'm really not sure, I don't have, I don't have a graph, but I'm thinking that's where the catfish are going to be during the daylight hours. I know in the evening they're going to move up shallow, but yeah, we definitely got a jug down. Let's go see if we got something on there. Let's see, are we moving? Are we bobbing? What are we doing? Did not feel the tug, so I'm just going to leave it there. Got our anchor out. I can see one of my jugs. I'm gonna throw some bait out there. I'm gonna give these old chum pods a try. Somebody sent me these a while ago. I've honestly been scared to even open them. I'm sure they smell like death. But the catfish and other things, it probably smells like sweet roses in heaven. Chum pods, get your chum here. They're like tied detergent things. Yeah. Chuck a couple of these out here. Before I can even get a line out and get a tan, the jug is already down over there. I'm just trying to see if it's bobbing. But it's calm right here. I haven't seen any boats go by it, so I know a fish definitely took that one. I'm gonna check this jug. I'm gonna check this jug before I throw a line out. Fish might have just tried to take the bait, knocked it down. Might need to rebait it before we get settled in on our anchor spot. Got our bait taken. Bait has been taken. This one's down too. Man, I've had three go down in like 20 minutes. Got a daggum drum. Look at that. Not exactly what you want to catch, but give me that shad back, bro. Shad stealing sucker. And our other bait was taken. Man, I bet that other one's up too. Yeah, this one might be bobbing right here. Something's on here. Get a cat, baby! All right. Got him in the daggum eye. Kitty cat captured y'all. Nothing to write home about, but it is one. We don't have any catfish in the freezer right now. We got crappies, we got white bass. I'm gonna load this one up with some more shad. That seems to be what they're liking. And then I bet you, Another one of these jugs is going to be down by the time I get this one baited. That was actually not the closest to the bottom. That one was the second off the bottom. Baited and ready. Jug lines going off this fast. Like this, this must be.
be some pretty good action out here. Took our bait, y'all. Some live action right here. Should have put them closer together. Put the new mark to work here, bouncing back and forth. How pale that guy is. Listen to him. Ow, 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 ow. Going in the cooler, kitty. Two cats in the well. I got one on the jug and one on rod and reel. I missed one bite, and the bite is really interesting. At first, I had it off the bottom, and I was thinking, you know, just just like the jug lines. But as soon as I started putting it on the bottom, that's when I was getting bites. But the boat is constantly turning around, so you have to watch that. But when a fish grabs it and you just start seeing your line like move around the boat, it's really cool. This one right here has just got a quarter ounce weight with a little stink bait on it. And that one had, that was close to three quarters of an ounce, really keeping it down there uh, with you know half of a shad. Really cool bite, man. I desperately need some rod holders though. But I have this really cool little slot right here that allows me to put accessories. So. I think I'm gonna look for something that can uh, to go in this little pocket right here, the slot, and lock down. Put a couple of them in the very back. That'll make it much easier to just pick up on them. Right now, I'm just using the edge of the cooler. It does feel good though. Get the crispy out with the new motor. Get a couple whisker biscuits in the box. And I still gotta check my other jug lines. So maybe I'll get one more on rod and reel. I'm out of bait. But another one on a jug, it's a, it's a pretty good morning. Since I'm out of bait, I'm just gonna check these jugs. I just brought in one, had the bait taken, nothing on it. Going to number two, it's down. Come on, baby. Eat something delicious. Oh yeah, nice catfish. Shoo, baby. Good catfish right there now. Look out. Going in the coop. We got one more. Hopefully we got one on that one too. I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's down. Not feeling the tug. We do have something on here. We got something on here. Yeah! Biggest one of the day, baby. The biggest one of the day. There we go. That servo hook did exactly what it's supposed to. That's awesome, y'all. You can tell that the fish has been deep. It's been in that muddy deep water right there. I don't know how deep it is. It's probably 20 something, but heck yeah, baby. We got ourselves some good catfish today. Y'all aren't gonna believe this, but I got out of the boat to take like a cool photo with my meat necklace. And one of them got off. Sure did. Biggest one too. That is a true Guggen move right there. Alrighty folks, we've had our kitty cats sitting on ice for a few hours now. So they're a little chilled. I always like to clean my fish after being on ice. I prefer 12 hours, you know, an overnight soaking. We're not actually gonna cook these today. Uh, we're gonna save these for another day. Steph's been perfecting a blackened recipe, blackened catfish, blackened crappie. So anyways, coming at you soon. We're gonna perfect it. I showed this in another video, but this is the uh, Guga Squad hook and cook bucket. It's basically got a bunch of different dangle supplies in it. Uh, a lot of the stuff I already had in my boat, but I mean if you literally just had a brand new John boat Wanted to go do what I did today you, you could pretty much do it with what is in here So it doesn't come with a strop Doesn't come with a sharpener. I always like to sharpen my knives Doesn't matter which knife. 
as soon as I get it out of the factory, because factory sharp isn't as sharp as my sharp. There's actually a couple things in here I need to use. Uh, one being a grabber, because I'm going to try something. I have a fish skin peeler, catfish skin peeler. I want to try something with a hook I have on my deck. I'm just going to make a couple of cuts in the skin, hang the catfish up, and pull that kitty cat skin off. blood on the golf cart hope stuff doesn't get upset if y'all haven't seen the golf cart tour video lake life family channel link down below but one of the greatest things about having this is toting fish guts i used to have to wait till my next fishing trip or wait till the trash went out to deal with these fish because we live, we live close to the lake and not on the lake the golf cart just makes it really easy to take the fish scraps and Go dump them in the water. Circle of life right here. I was literally fishing out there today. I just like to carry the whole bucket. Tools and whatnot. Catfish ahoy. Come down here and rinse our bucket out. And our tools. Get that fish skin off there. Cutting board. And just like that, we are done, fishing freaks. The old crispy, she topped out about 26, 27 today, but I feel like it has the same amount of pop as, uh, as the last motor. It's just a lot smoother and just a lot more efficient, like with uh, you know, the forward and reverse being on the throttle and just a lot of things, you know. The trim makes it really easy too, going up in shallow water. So anyway, I'm happy with the repower. Crispy's running good. And my old jugs, which I haven't done anything with, I need to I like retune them. Put some new line on there, get some new rigs rigged up. But man, the month of May, I think it might be good for the cat fishing. Might have to do this a few more times, just see if I can uh, load up with kitty cats, put some more in the freezer. And after a good day in the crispy, now I've got to head over to the silver bullet. And it's time to start taking all the tackle everything out make sure i don't forget i weigh in all my daggum waypoints that are on here i don't have that many but you guys know what i'm saying it's time to, to clear this boat out take it back to fun and sun and then it's going to be somebody else's horse to ride off into the sunset thank you guys for tuning in today if you are wondering how to make those jugs i'll leave a link for a video that I've done before where I built them and put them out and all that. Uh, if you're interested in that bucket, the hook and cook bucket, I will not leave a link for that, but it is available in certain Walmarts around the country. If you can get your hands on one, snag you one. And to everybody out there just giving it a dangle from every angle, I salute you, God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one.